It's good to be home. That's not just a catchy slogan. It's the attitude that permeates throughout Bryan's community development department. The CD department is tasked with facilitating the distribution of government funds to Bryan residents who fall in the low to moderate income categories. So what we're really looking at is usually individuals who are very hardworking, um, who just for some reason can't quite make, for instance, the, the re repairs on their house or the rehab on their house. They help those people through various housing programs. There's a home buyer's assistance program, a minor housing repair program, and a housing rehab program, just to name a couple of them. All of those are meant to not only help out the individuals, but also the entire city of Bryan. Helping people feel good about Bryan, good about living here, and that, that the city cares about them and that we're doing our part, you know, to help them help themselves. Gwendolyn Wells is one Bryan resident who took advantage of the Home Buyers Assistance Program. After receiving some help, she left her renting days behind and now owns her own home. Oh, it's, it's really awesome because now I know, hey, I ain't got to worry about getting evicted or being told you got to move because I done sold this apartment because twice I had to do that in an apartment because as soon as I moved in, Somebody else bought it and you had to go move and find another place. So now I know I'm here, this is it, and it's all mine. And does Ms. Wells think she could have bought her own home without the help? No way. There was no way. Because they gave me the $15,000 down payment assistance to even get the house. And ain't no telling when I would have been able to come up with that much money working on the job I work on. So. This is a blessing, and I tell anybody, go through the program, do what you have to do, and qualify. Jovita Vargas also benefited from community development. She owns her home but had a serious problem with her front porch, so she qualified for a minor housing repair. My porch was in the entrance of the door, was about a step high, so when you went out, you had to raise your leg up. When the, the outside, you drop down. And it was uh, off. So you had your one, two, and then it was going down on that side. Ms. Vargas was in a similar situation as Gwendolyn Wells. She supports herself and her grandchildren on her income, but didn't have quite enough to fix the porch. I didn't have the money, and because I'm the only one working here, and I'm the only one that lives here, I just take care of my grandchildren. And, um, and I said, well, I need all this help I can get. So that's what I did, and uh, they came and fixed it. And now, well, the steps are even, and the porch is as good as new, thanks to the Community Development Department. It's not just individuals who directly receive funds from CD. They also contribute to agencies throughout the area. Organizations like Scotty's House, the Sexual Assault Resource Center, Twin City Mission, United Way, and the Brazos Valley Food Bank all benefit from CD funds. We're looking at partnering with different agencies uh, in the community that provide assistance, but also try to go one step further and provide some type of financial assistance or financial counseling. Around 900 kids benefited this summer as well from that community development money. Portions of Bryan Parks and Recreation summer camp was funded by CD. Without the community development block grant, the, the kids would not have the wonderful opportunity of being able to play with our staff and learn the types of things that they do each summer. In the end, everything that community development does is for the people which in turn benefits Brian, and it starts with CD staff. To work in CD, you really, you know, you've got to have a connection to, to people in, in your community, and you've got to have that desire and that passion to help people. And Wells and Vargas can surely appreciate the help they received from those staff members. I take my hats off to you all. I appreciate every little bitty thing and every big thing that y'all helped me go through the process to get where I am today because I'm in my 50s and to me it'd be hard right now in this day and time with the economy like it is to have that money to come up with a house and for the people at the at the city of Bryan to open the doors and and get that grant money to come in for people to get their houses, I think it's really great. I think I'm very, very much with all the bottom of my heart and that I hope that everyone can see that they can do what they promise 
to do to help people and uh, also that a lot of people will in encourage themselves to uh, help them also. Bond echoes the philosophy of all the CD staff when she says she loves to have a job that she looks forward to each and every day. When you can actually tell that you helped somebody, you know, that you made a difference, that you, you made their lives uh, safer and, and healthier and just, just you know, pl more pleasing to them, it, it just, it's just astounding. I don't know what else to say.